Multiply that by five, 10, or even 20 dogs, and it becomes one of the most successful predatory forces on Earth. Hunting as a team means they can take on larger prey and make a kill more often. Few, if any, other predators can match their success. These larger predators can push the dogs off a kill. But they do more than just compete for food. They prey on dogs outright. Over a third of all pups, and as many as one in six adults, die in the jaws of a lion. Now the stakes are even higher. Light Phase and Roxy have nine more mouths to feed. At just one month old, the pups already need fresh meat. They're welcome additions to a fragile population. Just 5,000 of their kind survive in all of Africa. Light Phase wears a radio collar so that park rangers can monitor the pack's progress and better understand how they live and how they hunt. At first light, the dogs are ready to hunt. But the new pups make things more difficult. Wild dogs are normally nomadic, but with pups to care for, they have to return to the den every night. And the little ones can't be left alone. Roxy, their mother, is needed on the hunt. So one of the younger females stays behind as puppy sitter. That leaves the pack one hunter short. They move out along the park's dirt road for easier travel, scanning the bush for Pops potential prey. Away. Missing a daily meal brings the threat of dehydration and stunted growth. But the hunters have failed. Although they are the offspring of Roxy and Lightface, the entire pack is concerned for their well-being. Every dog will help feed the pups, and every dog will risk its life to protect them. Even so, half these pups will probably not reach adulthood. Hunger is a serious threat, but there are others more sinister. The next morning at Umfalozi, the Xi'an pack is restless. They're used to eating every day. After yesterday's failure, adults and pups alike are desperate for a meal. Black rhino are notoriously bad-tempered. And it's covered in virtual body armor. Skin two centimeters thick. They seem reluctant to leave it alone. The rhino bears wounds, perhaps from parasites or an encounter with a lion. The dogs may sense it's in a weakened state. Its nervous reaction triggers the dog's prey response. They're predisposed to give chase to anything that flees but they'll get nowhere with this opponent. They maintain their battle line, but they swing it to the left as a unit, like a net to catch the charging prey. Experience hunting together enabled them to adjust as the game board changed. And they reap the reward. Dogs usually kill their prey much faster than lions do. And unlike lions and many other pack predators, they seldom bicker over who gets what. 
Dining is swift, orderly, and quiet. There's good reason to be so single-minded. The hyenas are back, and in greater numbers. They've been following the dogs, hoping to steal the meal. Wild dogs valiantly defend their prize from larger foes. But it takes four dogs to keep just one hyena at bay. And at the den, the hunters are greeted by an enthusiastic horde. The pups make distinct chirping sounds and lick the mouths of the adults. This triggers an instinctive reaction. The adults regurgitate partially digested meat, the equivalent of puppy chow.